Hey everybody! If you have not seen the title yet, which I assume you have, you would know this is going to be my room tour. Yay! All of you guys have been requesting this so, so much. And if you are new to my channel or have never seen me before, go ahead and check out my other videos right after you watch this one because this one's gonna be the bomb.com. Just saying. So many of you guys have requested me to do a room tour, so I thought I might deliver. So this is going to be my room tour. Now I know that a lot of these videos come with hate and all that stuff. Um, I just want to say that I'm not trying to brag about anything I have in my room or anything like that. Um, I don't think that's the purpose of makeup collections or room tours or anything like that. Um, I love watching room tours and makeup collections and stuff like that because you get ideas on design and color and arrangement of stuff. So without further ado, this is going to be my room tour of 2014. So this is what you see when you first enter my room and I'm just gonna give you guys a little pan over around my room so you can get the general gist around where things are in relation to each other and yeah that's my bed, my vanity, my bathroom and so forth of my room. To start out with, I'm just going to go over the back of my door. I basically just have various purses, bags, and sweatshirts hanging there. Not anything that exciting. Then on my wall next to that, I have a few records that my English teacher actually gave me because she was going to throw them out. I was like, no! So I saved them. Then below that, I have some extra paper, a lamp, some dry erase markers, a picture, my computer, tape and then I have this really cool pencil thing with all my pencils in it and then just other utilities. In my first drawer of the desk I have some paper clips, tacks, these are like picture hanging stuff and safety pins or something like that. And then up above that I have index cards, stapler, etc, etc, just office supplies basically. In the second drawer, um, this is from a side point of view, and I have some erasers. I have more than enough staples. I will never run out. I have some more glue. I have labels. Everything under the sun. I have a little slicer thingy, if you guys know what that is, and some duct tape, because you always need duct tape. Now, I love to draw and stuff like that, so I just have a big thing of colored pencils, pens, and then all along the side I have various watercolor and oil paints. In the next drawer below that, I have nothing very interesting. I made a vocab book for school, and I have this watch box I keep extra change in and some paper. In the very, very last drawer, I just have some extra graph paper, regular paper, journals, and stuff like that. Nothing super interesting. Next to that, I have this little stand. I don't really know what it is, but I just have some books for school, and I have this really pretty shell box, which I keep post-it notes in. In the very top drawer and only drawer, I just keep some hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works. On the top shelf I have magazines and then below that I just have various scarves, hats, belts, stuff like that. Next to it I have my dresser from Ikea, so a little pan over of what's on top. I have some flowers, which I love. They're fake obviously, but they're pretty. And then in this box I have some stickers and then next to that I have a jewelry box that my sister gave to me, which I keep my rings and my watch in. Next to that I actually put up my books around it, which I like a lot better than what I had there previously. In these drawers, I have underwear, bras, socks, and in the last drawer, bathing suits. In the first deep drawer, I have shorts. These are all leggings here. Up there, I have thicker leggings. These three are yoga pants, workout shorts, spandex for volleyball, and that's a sports bra. In this next drawer, I have all of my jeans, ranging from light to dark wash. Um, I'm missing a few, but I'm probably going to have to th go through them all. That pair back there, I'm going to turn into shorts, and then some of these other colorful ones I put in the back. The drawer, the, 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 ah. the drawer below that, I have all of my pajamas. So these are pajama shirts, pajama pants, sh and my onesies. 
I'm not gonna lie, I have too many onesies. Then in the drawer next to that, pretty plain and simple, I have some bed sheets and a sock that's floating around in there. Next to that, I have this cube thing, which I actually really like. On the top, I have some trophies, I have my quote book, that box has perfume samples, a little dragon, some pictures of me and my family. Then at the bottom here, I have uh, bracelets, and then next to that, in the top drawer, I have hair bands, other hair stuff, and then bracelets I wear most often at the bottom drawer. Above that, I have some more family photos, and then I have this really cool snow globe that I got in St. Augustine at a gator farm. It's pretty dang awesome. Then going up from that, I just have a speaker on each tier below that. And then on top of the lowest tier of the speaker, I have my necklace tree thing. Yeah, that thing. And then below that, I have some more photos, me and my family. Then all around my window area of my room, you can see I have Christmas lights, which I love because you can't get enough of Christmas. It's just a fact. This is my bed, um, the bed frame and my nightstand to match with it came from a local store. Then the two red pillows are from Kmart. Then the two front pillows I think are from Bed Bath & Beyond. On my nightstand I just have a lamp from Ikea and my Oceanside candle which smells amazing. And then I have my bookmark that just says everything is better with bacon, which is true. Then I just have in my nightstand nightstandish things and then in the bottom drawer I have makeup bags. Next to that I have this empty little space. I just have some magazines and a bigger makeup bag. Next to that I have my vanity, I have my Alex 9 drawer which is where I keep all of my makeup. Now above that I have some candles and antique keys which I love. If you know me I love keys and elephants, that's just my thing. Next to that I have my full length mirror and you can see me, hi! And you can see what I'm wearing actually. And these are like six bucks at Kmart, it's pretty dang cool. Next to that I have my bathroom and I want to paint it from this ugly pink to one of those colors so tell me if you like the light or darker color to paint it because I cannot decide. Next to that I have my hamper, I have a uh, chair from the world market I believe and then I have Murphy and Petunia my oversized um, pillow pets which I snuggle with all the time. Next to that I have my two double door closets and the far side I just keep formal dresses and then in the closest one to the door I have all of my shirts and below that I have all of my shoes and sneakers. Then I have my Surf Girls Only sign, and then below that I have my bag from iMats in January, which was so fun and such an amazing experience. And that was my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys have any other video suggestions or requests, please, 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 please comment them down below, and I will be sure to do them for you, because I'm running out of ideas on stuff to do you all yes so I hope you enjoyed this room tour I know I had a lot of fun filming it and like kind of cleaning up my room because my room has not been this clean in forever uh, so I will see you guys in my next in next week's video and I'll talk to you later bye